Hey, what's up, y'all? Domino7 here. Alright, so anyway, I haven't vlogged about Jeopardy in a long, long time, but I'm glad to be back to, to, uh, to vlog about it, though, okay? About 20 minutes before Jeopardy come on here in New Orleans on WVUE Fox 8, okay? Alright, so anyway, uh, uh, I, I was supposed to vlog about Jeopardy when uh, uh, Rachel uh, Lindgren lost, okay? Uh, winning five games in a row and stuff like that. But technically, what I, what I want to do, really, what I want to do is, uh, is uh, uh, tell y'all about Lee Quinn, okay? The guy that lost to uh, Rachel, okay? But when I, when, when, when I watch him throughout the, the, the whole episode, I can tell he was agitated because the, the way I looked at him, he looked agitated, you know? I was expecting him to win five games like, like, like Gilbert Collins did. You know, another Collins that won, uh, uh, that 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 won, that won his way to being a tournament of champions, like Julia Collins. You know, how many of y'all remember Julia Collins being a being a twenty game winner? Okay, from season thirty. You know, well at first I was thinking about that that was rainy pep pepper season. Okay, but Technically, technically, it was Arthur Chu's season, but uh, Julia Collins overtook that. She was the last streak of the biggest winner of season thirty. Okay, until well, well, well Arthur Chu was the was the biggest winner until Julia Collins took that away from him. <coughs> so, so okay. As I was saying, folks. Uh, well, what I want to talk about is yesterday's episode of Jeopardy when uh, Rob Wilson, Rob Wilson, I'm sorry, I meant to say, I meant to say Rob, Rob Wallman uh, uh, lost to, to Alan Harrison, okay? So, by him winning and winning, and I meant to say getting almost a, a, a every category, but not all categories, but but Rob was, was losing it, you know? But you know what? I got some advice to uh, uh, to, to Alan uh, Harrison. You know what? I should have said this to to Lee Quinn when when he defeated uh, 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 Gilbert Collins. Don't blow it, okay? All right. Today's the day, but don't blow it, okay? My advice to to, to Alan Harrison: Don't blow it, okay? Just like I I, I told Buzzy Coin after he defeated Andrew Powell. Don't blow it, okay? Hopefully you you gonna go for your second win. You you you'll win the third, fourth, and fifth. Let's hope that you win five games, okay? Let's hope that you do, okay? All right, cause we, we I, I want to see you in the tournament of champions, uh uh, uh Allen. If, if if you're watching this, okay? All right, so to my to uh, advice to to Allen. Don't blow it, like I told Buzzy Coin, okay? But guess what? Buzzy Coin almost blew it when he, when he faced off against Jerry, and, and and he almost blew it when he when he faced off against Ben Roth, Rothenberg, Roth, whatever his last name is, okay? I don't know his last name though, okay? But I'm glad Buzzy Coin uh, won five games after defeating streaking champion Andrew Powell, okay? All right. So, my advice to, well, at, at least Rob didn't blow it, okay? But all I'm telling uh, Alan is, please don't blow it. You, you was an awesome champion yesterday, but I want you to be an awesome champion today, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday, and next Friday, too, okay? Please, please do your best, and don't blow it, okay? All right. So, anyway, as I was saying, folks... It was good though, with Rachel Lind Lindgren. Okay, so as far as that, I just well she the she she the first woman streaking champion to uh, qualify for the tournament of champions. Okay, hmm. Well, if, if it weren't for uh, Lily Chen winning winning the college championship, Lisa Schlin would have been the only only woman champion to, to ever be in the, the tournament of champions. Okay. So, 
I think I remember all male tournament of champions one year. So, if anybody remember a tournament of champions of, of, with all guys, comment below and, and tell me because I, I, I forgot. Okay, I watched Jeopardy all these years. I, I missed some episodes of Jeopardy all these years because I was watching cartoons. Okay, I even missed episodes of Wheel of Fortune and some episodes of Price is Right. You know. Game shows is my thing, okay? So, that's all, alright? Thank y'all for watching this video. My advice to, to Alan Harrison, don't blow it, or I'll be very upset, you know? You, you done good yesterday. I think it was a runaway, but let's hope you do it, okay? Uh, don't blow it like like Scott Lennon did. Uh, y'all remember Scott Lennon that had defeated Greg Soroka and got defeated by Andrew Herringer? That was in season 31, you know. Thank God Elliot Yates made it to the tournament champions after defeating Vaughn Winchell and got defeated by, by John, John, uh, 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 I, I, I forgot his last name, but I'm, I'm going to look that up later, okay. All right, that's all Domino Southern got to say, all right. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing before I say bye-bye. Don't blow it, Alan Harrison, okay. Win five games. So you can be in a tournament of champions, okay? Bye-bye.